Hello and welcome to our uh, Saturday image and map creation stream. Uh, I'm Josh and uh, this is our uh, Fantasy Ground stream where we talk about all of the image related uh, stuff that's kind of going on as well as uh, we do uh, some map creation uh, and go through all of the, the tool updates uh, as well as uh, the art packs that are going to be released, the ones that have been released. Uh, and we create our own maps here. Uh, we go through all the different steps and processes and I try to use this time to um, explain to you guys or to give you uh, some sort of insight into some, some good practices and creating your own maps. Um, so thanks everyone for joining me this Saturday afternoon. We're going to be doing uh, kind of a cool thing today. Uh, and uh, we are having an upcoming release uh, of the Fallout rule set, which is pretty exciting. It's coming this uh, this next week, I believe. And so uh, with that, uh, we have a couple of art packs that are going to be coming out this month, uh, which is going to kind of go along with that, uh, as well as some that will be coming out in addition to that. Uh, I actually created three uh, kind of modern industrial art packages uh, they're going to be uh, working well with this system. We're actually going to be building a vault today, which is pretty exciting. Uh, also, in our art-related news, we are working behind the scenes and doing some in internal testing on uh, new um, uh, painting tools uh, for the image creation area, and which is super exciting. I'm 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 very thrilled with this, and I I just cannot wait to show this off to you guys. It's it's uh, absolutely phenomenal. Very, very cool stuff right around the corner. Uh, so keep tu uh, tuned in, and we're going to be going over that as soon as we are able and demonstrating that stuff, uh, which is it's great. And it's going to we'll spend probably an entire show uh, just going over the tools, using their functionality, and going in depth with them uh, because you can do some really amazing things with this stuff that's going to be coming out. So super exciting stuff, everybody. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, for that upcoming release, that's gonna be that's gonna be just amazing. I'm so excited. Uh, and without any sort of further ado uh, to that, um, I'm not exactly sure which art packs are coming out when and how that's kind of done. I've been putting together quite a few packs and uh, submitting them, so uh, we will be getting uh, not only a lot of these modern things, but I've also done uh, a couple of other art packs uh, back to some medieval stuff. I did uh, one for medieval machines, which should be pretty cool. You can do all the internal workings of uh, uh, large uh, gears and uh, axles and all kinds of different machine parts and whatnot, as well as many other aspects of that. Uh, so that should be really cool. Uh, both wind-powered and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, also, I did uh, some additional um, medieval elements for creating ex exteriors of castles and other uh, places like that. So that should be super fun too uh, once that's uh, released. Uh, I also have a couple of Western art packs that will be coming out within the next few months. Um, so you should be able to create all of your Western environments, Western towns, and so on and so forth. So that's at least two art packs there, and maybe more. Um, but uh, and we have so much more in the works so a lot of uh, great stuff coming out uh, this year uh, and so much more planned so uh, really super exciting year for our map creation stuff here so let's jump right into this I have and I'm actually uh, gonna be doing this inside of the uh, the new rule set here and I believe this is coming out on Tuesday I could be wrong but I believe that this is uh, where it's gonna be Kind of done here so I'm not going to go too much into all of this stuff we'll kind of leave this a little bit to the imagination as uh, other elements kind of get um, get revealed but uh, I'm going to just be using the uh, the art aspects here uh, today and uh, we're going to be creating as I said our own little vault here which should be pretty fun uh, I think what we'll do and depending on on how uh, now this is the new Fallout rule set that will be being released uh, this next week. Um, depending on how much we get done today, uh, we're gonna we're going to be obviously creating uh, several different rooms uh, inside of there. But we might even do um, the uh, exterior as well. Maybe do some ground over the top and create the uh, entrance and and all of that stuff. So that should be super exciting kind of stuff here. 
Um, so I'm going to jump right into this. Uh, we're going to be getting into, and as I said, and this will be uh, kind of showing off some of the new art packs that are going to be coming out, uh, as well as uh, lots of cool functionality. So there's three actual modern industrial. We're going to be using some mixture uh, probably between uh, the abandoned places, which there's two abandoned um, places, uh, rule sets um, that are... Uh, already have been released, and that is an, also another great one for that's going to be used uh, for creating environments such as this. Um, in addition to that, uh, we will have uh, probably be using some of the sci-fi uh, oriented stuff. So some of the sci-fi art packs also have a lot of really cool, like old school, like um, not necessarily like super high tech sci-fi, but a lot of those like. Um, crazy kind of controls and whatnot. So we might be diving into that as well. So we're going to be using like a conglomerate of a few different things there. But uh, in the first um, elements here, uh, we're in the, uh, the uh, modern industrial map pack one here. Uh, and we have, I think that I created for like 40 new brushes uh, that we can kind of use with this. And these are all like concrete elements. Um, metal kind of elements, all of the stuff that you might need uh, to create all of these different kind of environments. We even have like wheeled rails and things and um, and uh, this is all like the structural kind of elements, the, the base uh, that we're going to be building up on um, to create all of the other stuff. So I'm, we'll, uh, we'll kind of go through all of these things. Uh, the decorations are also in that same kind of vein. Um, it's all of those construction type elements, uh, lots of like um, wall, uh, pre-made entrances, frameworks. We have all kinds of different like telephone poles and whatnot. Uh, we also have like roads and uh, uh, modern kind of stuff like that. And when we get into the uh, second uh, map pack here, uh, we have, uh, this is all going to be like the wires and pipes, all of that uh, really, um, the things that really make things feel very industrial. And so we have the first art pack is going to be about all of the new. Um, oh, well, you're going to be very surprised, Kevin, when, when these kind of come out, because not only is it got a really cool, awesome, crazy fill function, but so much more. And I'm just so excited to to to, um, to show that stuff off. And we're we're doing internal testing of it now. Uh, so hopefully that is also right around the corner. And as soon as it is uh, in any sort of way that I can, uh, or I get the go ahead to show you guys on the stream, uh, I cannot wait to do so. And so in the uh, second industrial art pack, it's all of these pipes and wires and things. Uh, we have lots of different brushes for these kinds of stuff. Uh, but in addition to that, we have tons of decorations of all of these elements, these rather industrial lighting, um, electrical boxes, gauges, pipe fittings, um, everything from uh, like steam-oriented uh, kind of apparatus to, uh, and we have like all of these cool like pre-made conglomerates where you can just kind of stick these around. Uh, lots of railings, um, tanks and whatnot, um, wire spools, uh, all of the things that you might find in these industrial kind of settings. And these are all the things that are related to uh, as I said before, pipes, wires, and that sort of stuff, Electri electrical systems, uh, ventilation systems, all of that stuff. So uh, a lot there. And when we get into the third one, uh, I think I just went to the second one again. Well, let's try to get to the actual third one this time. Uh, this is all just decorations, but these are all of the other things that you might want to include in there. So we have modern day uh, of these uh, metal barrels, cardboard boxes, freight, shipping containers, um, all this, all of the other types of elements. We have some forklifts, um, and this also has in it all kinds of machine parts. So tons and tons of these different uh, machine elements to build together, so to create like these really cool industrial uh, complexes, factories, um, lots of these great kind of uh, locations. So we're going to be diving into all of this stuff today, which is super exciting, and uh, it should be super fun. Uh, we have uh, so much that we can kind of go over today, which is just great. 
But let's get back into our base uh, modern industrial pack. And as I said, these are going to be coming out over the next couple of months uh, because we only release two a month. And so whichever, I'm sure, I'm sure maybe one and two are going to get released this month, and then three will be the following one. But that's right around the corner here. Uh, so exciting stuff. Um, but we're going to jump right in here. I'm going to go into the floors here. We have a whole bunch of different types of floors here. A lot of brick, concrete. Um, we have a lot of these, and I also put in a few things that are going to be working with um, some of these uh, other kind of elements here as well. Things that will, um, well, add to the whole, like, Fallout kind of environment, right? Uh, so we have, like, a, a lot of these uh, boards, things that could have been put, placed on top of uh, in addition to that. Um, this is a earlier version. I also have like plywood floors and things like these these like um, conglomerates of different uh, wood pieces uh, and stuck together and so on. So you can kind of make these layered elements here. Uh, but we're going to jump right into this. Uh, and I'm actually going to start off, uh, we're going to build out some, some kind of areas here. Let's make sure that we have uh, our grid set up uh, to 100 by 100. And uh, I'm going to make this all primarily just with painting layers. And uh, we're going to build up our basic shapes of some areas and kind of go back and forth um, between a couple. I think I'm going to make two different um, floor painted uh, elements. And we'll put those together into a folder. And then we're going to build all of our walls uh, and so on and so forth. Oh, yeah, you could totally um, make some really cool steampunk stuff as well. And this that's one of the great things about the system is... You can mix and match these art packages together and really create some really cool um, environments, right? Like things like super sci-fi stuff all the way back to medieval times and uh, and even beyond. So uh, we're going to get going here. Uh, what I think we're going to do is we have a few different uh, elements here. I think we're going to use uh, this one for our base for our, like our concrete floor. And so, uh, or maybe this one, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, we have this one as well. Should we do a darker floor or a lighter floor? You guys have any preference? I think that, well, why don't we go with a lighter one for right now? I'm going to switch over to my stamp tool. And when I drop this in here. Ooh, the number of art packs are well over 30 now. I think we're getting close to 40 art packs. Uh, and each art pack ranges, it has at least 100 images in it. And some of them have even up to 1,000. So I, the, on the last time that I looked, uh, we, were, we were up there in the number of images that are available uh, through the art packages. Uh, we have absolutely thousands of them. So there's a lot that's been released. And so, as you can see here, I'm just going to hit Control-Z on that. And I'm going to hold down Control, and this is going to snap us to the grid here. And uh, this is going to allow me to build out uh, these elements uh, and adhere to my grid system. So even though I'm using my stamp tool, as you can see here, uh, I'm going to be able to uh, stamp this right into place. And we're going to make a large room here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this around. Um, and then we're going to drop one right in here. And what I'm going to be able to do with this is just kind of create my uh, initial uh, first starting area here. We're going to be creating some industrial kind of zones inside of this vault, as well as uh, we're going to be creating all of the other, uh, maybe like live-in elements and so on. Uh, we can use all of those elements that we have been releasing uh, up into this part, up into this point. And we have lots of modern interiors for like houses and whatnot. So we can grab all of those elements. And this is what I was saying before about mixing and matching all of these art packs together. Uh, so they all will work in this really cool kind of way to create any kind of environment that you could possibly want. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my uh, aspect lock ratio. And I'm going to be able to change the shape of this uh, to kind of fit my means. We're going to be using a few of the uh, different uh, elements here. We don't want to have like this one single type of floor possibly across the, uh, the whole area here. And that's maybe why we're going to make a couple of different uh, types of um, uh, 
layers for our floors here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my height here. Uh, so we're going to make this four. So I'm just going to make turn this into like a hallway here. And again, I'm going to use Control and snap this right here. And I'm just going to create a couple of little avenues off of here. And what I'm doing now is I'm creating my footprint uh, by which I'm going to be building off of. And you don't need to worry too much about, um, you know, kind of have some fun with it. Uh, allow it to kind of create naturally the environment that you want to do. And I'm going to rotate this. And then I can stamp this. Uh, maybe something like this. We'll do a nice little corner here. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to rotate this back. And we'll put this back to uh, 10 by 10. And I'll we'll drop this right here. We'll create a little room. And from here, uh, I think what actually, actually I'm going to do is make this like that. And I think what we'll do is we'll switch over. I'm going to use, the, I have a couple of really cool brushes that I've created for this. Uh, we have these tunnel brushes. And uh, these are great for uh, creating not only like the walls, but also that kind of feeling that it's uh, this industrial kind of zone. And I'll show you how my intention of. Now you can always use these in any way that you wish. Um, but I'll just show you how I kind of intended them to be used. Uh, in these kind of environments. So you can see here, this is like this metal kind of construction that curves up on the sides. Um, I played with perspective with this a uh, little bit so that it does feel a little bit um, as though you're looking down into it, uh, but it also works seamlessly with itself. Uh, so what I can do is I can do a couple of different things and I have the size as an independent uh, element so that we can create that on its own which would allow you to make it as wide as you wanted it to be. Uh, this is a pre-made kind of element here. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is create this into this kind of entry area. Uh, and we're going to build this down into uh, what might be a more um, a central kind of um, place here. And I'm going to just line this up a little bit better here. And I'm holding down Control, so this is going to snap to our grid. And I'm just going to bring this right down and maybe bring it to here. And I'm going to double click it. And that's going to end it right on that line. And you can see by holding down control and snapping to the grid system, I can uh, create this with my, my painting tools uh, to be very precise here. We'll be using all of these kind of elements, not all of them, but uh, many of them to kind of show how this is. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create like a walkway in the middle of this. But before I create the walkway, what I'm actually going to do is build up some framework. I want this to feel as though that the walkway like this is further down. The walkway is like a raised element. And we're going to divide this into a couple of different uh, layers here. So we can put in pipes that are coming in and out from underneath. Um, and we can kind of uh, play with the perspective here a little bit that is naturally created with this. And so what I'll do is I'll go back into my floors here. Uh, and we might want to take the same one if we wish, but uh, we don't have to. Uh, and I'm going to create a new uh, layer here. And uh, from this, I'm going to kind of build out this little walkway. Uh, actually, let's go into our framework first here. I have some, some nice little framework brushes here. Uh, no, that's not the one I wanted to grab. It's this one. And I'm going to make this a bit wider. Let's make it like six. And we'll make it, uh, we'll make it match here. Now let's, uh, yeah, something like this. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to hold down, and I'm going to make sure I have this one selected. And I'm just going to bring this down here. This. And so we've already started to make this kind of framework. I should probably, I'm going to hit Control Z. I'm going to do this on this layer. Uh, because I want to be able to kind of put things uh, between that bottom layer and this. So we're going to start to use our layers here. And I should also name these, right? So I'm going to rename this one. Or one. Or two. And what I'll do is, uh, as you can see here, we have all of these other brushes and we can start to use these to create lots of different elements. So I'm going to start to build this up. 
Maybe we'll do like a metal walkway here, but maybe we'll also do uh, some concrete elements as well. As you can see, that this is going to work um, exactly the same here, right? So I'm going to I'm going to put this right. Uh, maybe we'll, what we'll do is we'll make this a little bit wider. I think what we'll do is, or maybe we'll just do it a little bit to the side here, and we'll build this little base. off kilter there so with the new painting tools that are coming out if you do that you can fix it all after you've placed it down which is really cool and you can see I've switched it so it's going to be uh, something like that we get this nice little worn kind of element in the middle you can see that this is already starting to feel uh, like this really cool industrial area and then once we start to put pipes underneath and whatnot uh, we can do wires along the side. Uh, this is really going to start to come to life here. And uh, I'm so excited about this little area down here. I think what we'll do is we'll start to build this out. We'll create like this big uh, machine room down here. Perhaps it's like a boiler or something with lots of uh, interaction that we can kind of do. Because we could do like some nice steam coming off of it with effects layers. Uh, really make this place pop. Pardon me while I have a sip of my coffee. And uh, we also have like these uh, rail brushes uh, and I have like trolleys and whatnot that we can kind of create as well. Uh, we also have a brush like this that we can create and maybe what we'll do is create some stuff on the side here. Uh, so we'll create a new layer uh, and maybe what we'll do is create like this like system along here and I'll, I'll do it from here. Let's, let's flip it so it goes the other direction as I drag it down. Uh, and maybe we'll I'll extend it out a little bit, and we can kind of change this later. So one of the cool things that we can do uh, if we use our line tool, or either the rectangle or the ellipse tool, is after the fact we can go into our layers tab, and I can readjust the size of this. And with the new tools that are coming out, you're going to see how this all works in tandem with some of the new systems. Oh, I'm, I'm just so excited! I can't stop talking about it. Uh, we have a whole bunch of uh, these kind of structural elements as well, and I made these all into brushes, so they're very easy to kind of use. Um, and it also should be noted that you never have to use it uh, specifically as just a brush, right? I can always load this up and change to my stamp tool, um, and I can start to stamp this around just in the same way that I would anything, and I can uh, turn it and change it. So never feel pigeonholed in the way that you use this system. Use it in any way that you feel uh, is the most advantageous for the time and for you. And we're going to be using some of these other elements as well, but uh, I'm really starting to dig this little work area down through here. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a new uh, painting layer, and I'm going to drop it in between these two floors. And I'm going to jump out here, and we're going to go to the um, the next map pack which is the second one and these brushes we have all of these elements here um, but what I'm actually going to do is go into my decorations and I'm just going to type in the word pipe and this is going to bring up all of these pipe elements and one of the things that I really want to grab is just some of these to kind of get it going here uh, and then I'm going to build off of it so I've, I've worked with this a little bit in testing and you can make these really complex uh, stuff very quickly uh, and it's, it's really kind of fun to do so let's grab an element something like this and I'll rotate it and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger here and I'm gonna make sure that I have this uh, area selected and you can see I can stamp this in underneath and we're already starting to create like these cool kind of like systems um, and I can grab some of these other elements changing the size and whatnot uh, and what I'm really trying to do here is just create this kind of feel that this stuff is poking out uh, from un underneath uh, what's going on here, as you can see here. I'm going to keep all of this stuff fairly rigid in its um, angles, right? Uh, I'm not going to do too much that this way and that way unless it makes sense, because that's one of the things that makes it feel like this kind of industrial area, right? Like the uh, constant angles. Everything kind of comes off as you'd expect it. I'm going to grab some of these other bits too, and we have uh, all kinds of stuff, and we can start to doctor these things up, right? So I can grab something like this, 
Uh, and I can come in here. Let's make this a little bit rounder. I'm going to actually flip it uh, this way so that I can kind of uh, just place them along here. We'll do a couple of these. And maybe what I'll do is make this smaller, and I'll do a couple on this side. And what we'll do is just kind of build up this like feeling. And you can see this is really starting to get cool here. We have lots of other ones as well, ones that look like they're a little bit more worn. Uh, and we're going to grab some of these, and we're just going to start to add these in. Um, and we can build off of all of this stuff. So maybe I'll bring something out like this. And now what I can actually do is we can go into our brushes now, and we have all of these like pipe brushes. Let's grab one of these. And I'll switch back over, as you can see here. I make this a little bit smaller. I'm doing that by holding down uh, Control and using my mouse wheel. Now when you're doing all of this stuff, you want to remember that it's not the image itself that you want to look at. It's where your um, cursor is, where the little mouse pointer is. And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to snap right onto here, and that's where it's going to start here. And then I can hold down Control, and I can bring it right up to this element over here. Well, that's a little bit off. Try that again. And what I want to do is I just want to bring it right up to this edge. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at where my pointer is and double click. And that's going to take this long kind of pipe along here. We're going to do some above this as well uh, to make this feel like this, this layered kind of uh, environment here. And I can do some coming across as well. Uh, and one of the great things about using the line tool and these, these brushes is that we can put bends in it. We can uh, add in other elements. Let's let's do that. Let's uh, let's bring it right off the edge here. And I'm just going to click here, and then I'm going to bring it down, and we'll bring it right to this edge right here. And I'm just going to double click end it. And I'm not exactly sure what just happened there. Let's hit Control Z, and let's try that one more time. It might have. Uh, Minor loss. Let's make sure that we have this uh, this area here selected. And I'm just going to pull this out like this. We're going to pull this down. And there we have it. You can see we have this nice curve now uh, in this pipe. You can see how well that this kind of works. Perhaps I hit escape instead of uh, double clicking. I'm not sure. And I can switch it out. I can grab some of these other pipe elements as well. You can see we have a whole bunch of different types of ones. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right off the edge of this one. And again, I'm just going to line it right up. And I'm going to bring it down. Well, maybe what we'll do is we'll bring it down here, and then I'll cross it over. I have it come all the way over to here and down again. Double click. Very cool. It's really starting to uh, feel like a, a, a rather interesting environment. Now I'm not, not going to do too much uh, on the top area here uh, until we figure out other elements that we want to do here. And then once we add in all of our shadows and lighting and whatnot, uh, this is really going to start to come to life here. And we can add some railings along the edges here. Uh, why don't we do that right now? We can we can go into um, I believe all of the railings, are they in this one? I don't think so. Well, let's just, oh, here we go. Get some nice railing brushes here. Uh, I think we'll do something like this. What I'm going to do is I want it to be like right along here. And I think what we'll do is we'll bring it from the edge over here. So we'll have like a railing here and a railing here and bring it down. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have, uh, we'll do it on floor two. And I'm just going to select right here. Um, we want to go inside a little bit. It's going to take us a couple of tries to get absolutely the way we want it to be. I want to go little bit beyond that. I think what I'll do is I'll just end that piece there. 
and then bring this in because I want it to go in the other direction coming down. So I'm going to flip it, bring this in a little bit here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and line this up pretty good right there. And then I'm going to bring it right down uh, to something like this. We have a nice little railing there. And we'll do the same thing here. I'm just going to kind of bring this over to something like this. And then we'll flip it because we want it to go in the other direction coming down. And so I'll start it. And if I hit escape, you see it'll end. I don't have to commit to that. So I can kind of find uh, where I want it to be. And like I said, in the new, uh, the new tools, you can kind of adjust this completely after the fact, which is amazing. Kind of just like a little bit freer to, to do your creation process. Very cool. And I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll do like some wires and things along the walls as well. Like all the pipes will be below, but all of the wires will be above. And we can do some like kind of draping across. It'll be very cool indeed. Awesome. Uh, so what we can do now is start to build out some of these other ele elements to make this kind of feel... Um, the way that we want it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to uh, call this one walls. And uh, we'll uh, we'll jump right in and we'll we'll start to add in uh, the walls to these areas. So maybe we'll use like a couple of different types of walls and we'll layer some other floors on top of it. We have two floor layers. And we'll probably have a couple of different wall layers. Uh, so we can do all kinds of stuff like that. And we can use like any one of these elements, right? We got boards. We got a tons of different types of concrete here as you can see and these can all be used as walls as well uh, curbs uh, pretty much anything that you can imagine see we have like these uh, nice uh, metal fences frameworks we have a full uh, you can pull out the shape of a hanger uh, this would be like those large hangers that you might have um, planes or whatnot in uh, we have uh, railings uh, actual uh, roads, metal structure type things, um, lots of different types of iterations of all of these elements here. And different types of tubes, these metal tubes that you can kind of build out these structures uh, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to actually grab one of these walls. I think what we'll do is we'll do like a brick uh, on the inside here. And we might do a couple of different layers so that we can kind of build out um, like these heavy kind of cog cree, but we'll do like, we also have um, these kind of cement blocks as well, which is kind of what I meant when I said brick, but we have lots of different uh, creation processes here. But I think we're going to go with something like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build out right from here uh, on this wall layer, we're going to build this around, and I'm going to use my line tool. And again, I'm going to use control and kind of snap to this. I'm going to just going to build this entire uh, environment and then I can erase out any layers that I want. Um, but I'll be able to kind of just bring it in and connect it there at the end. So holding down control, I'm just going to snap to each one of these corners and kind of overlap my floor just a little bit. And here, and here. What I'm doing is I'm just going to click right on the corner of each of these elements here. And I'm holding down control the entire time. I use my mouse wheel, uh, middle mouse wheel button, pan. I'm going to snap here, and then I'm going to bring it in, and then we'll double click like right there. So that we get this feeling like this is kind of uh, built in. We might, I'm, I'm probably going to erase this back just a little bit. Let me grab my eraser. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of uh, move this back a little. I want to try and line that up a little bit more. I'm actually going to build out a little bit of a frame structure here. So it's really not that important. 
but just to make sure that I have a good understanding about where this railing kind of comes from and how it's going to connect there. Now if I didn't, if I did that and I didn't want it to be have done, I can always control Z and bring it right back. So you have, you know, make sure that you use all of the tools that are available. But I don't like the way that this overlaps here, uh, which is kind of why I want that to be back. So here we have uh, some basic kind of uh, areas here. Maybe we'll make this like a kitchen and we'll do uh, some tables and whatnot, kind of like a common space. Uh, and we'll build some other uh, areas off of there as well. But again, depending on how much time we have, uh, we'll, we'll probably be working on this next week as well because this is, this is such a fun project. Great. So now that we have uh, a pretty good understanding, we have this that kind of goes in underneath. We might want to change this painting layer. We might want to drag it on top here, uh, depending on what we want to do. I'm going to keep it here for right now, but we can always change the order in which our layers are. A really great way for us to kind of uh, interact with this system and uh, change a lot of stuff after the fact. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back down to floor one and I'm going to start to build out uh, the structure down here. And so I'm going to go back into my floors and uh, we have a whole bunch of different uh, selections here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a, a different type of concrete um, and then we're going to do some like tile on top of it uh, or maybe even some metal and create our platform by which we're going to start to build some of this uh, machinery on top of. We're going to do a much more complex kind of uh, design here. Uh, now you can, if you wish, and you could start to figure out exactly what you want. I'm just going to kind of do it all uh, willy-nilly. Um, so I'm not going to do it uh, without too much a forethought here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that I have uh, my bottom floor here selected. And I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to flip it and we're just going to create a nice little uh, starting area down here. I'm going to make it um, one more wider this way, I think. We're going to make it uh, longer than it is narrow. What I'm thinking with this rail is we're going to have some sort of device or whatnot that slides back and forth. So maybe another piece of machine that's going to be attached to it or something. We can kind of figure that out together as we kind of progress here. And we can pick up some of these pipes if we want and bring it into the room. And we can even bring this walkway in because this is on a different layer than that. We can kind of layer it on top uh, and we could kind of bring it out into there. We don't have to, but we certainly could. We could make this like a larger kind of platform uh, and these kind of go into the concrete and then we can have them pop up later. Uh, so many different options by how we interact with this. So you can see this is just like a textured, textured kind of surface here. Uh, and this is going to be great for us to kind of build on top of. Maybe we can even use uh, one of these stairway elements as well. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a base. And uh, maybe what I'll do is um, build out a little section like this. And I think what we'll do is maybe bring it this way. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do do, do one uh, little uh, element down the middle. And then we'll do stuff with uh, the metal bits here on the edges here. And we'll flip it. Yeah, and then we can kind of build like this a uh, little platform coming up using different types of elements. I think what we'll do is we'll grab this and we'll put it in here as well, but we'll do it a little bit away from the wall here. Something like this. Now we can also, you can always come in and change the colors. I'm going to keep them a little bit drab like this. Uh, so it's just like a little bit of a texture change. Uh, but if you wanted to have more of a contrast, you can come in and, and make them a little bit more of a color if you wanted. And start to place them around. Um, sky's the limit. 
Great. Now we're going to start to build in some of this other stuff in here. So we have uh, this new painting layer on top. And I can always go back and forth between the layers and start to add in lots of different elements here. I'm going to go back into the uh, second art package. And again, we have uh, all of these things. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in uh, pipe. We're going to do some like piping elements. And we can do like some machine elements and all kinds of stuff. Maybe we'll do like these steam powered machines or maybe machines that make steam. Maybe it's like vice versa. It's like all of those. Above. I think what we're going to do is either use some of these green or blue ones uh, in here quite a lot. Let's use uh, these ones, I think. So the way that these are all set up, so if you look at this, this is all pipe one. And so if we go all the way up uh, into this space here, and we can type in pipe one, and this will be all of those elements that all match together. And there's even a brush of this as well. Also pipe one. So it'll be an easy way for you guys to maintain a certain type of continuity uh, between the pieces. We're going to be using some different ones as well, uh, but this is going to be really great for doing this stuff. And I'm going to start off with this brush. And what I can actually do, if I'm going to be using this brush a lot, I can grab this and I can drop it, drop it right down in here. And that's going to give me really easy access to it. Uh, so I don't have to keep jumping back out to get it. And then I'm going to type in Type one, and I'll have all of these pieces available to me. And so I'm going to do some like larger kind of elements here. So let's do some like coming off of the wall over here. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I have Maybe some, we could even do this a little bit bigger if we wanted to, like a larger kind of element here. And I'm going to bring this in, I'm holding down control, snapping to the grid system, bring this across and then down like that. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to do another one next to it. Stuff like this. And then I can do maybe another larger one. And I'm going to drag that right off of the edge there. Something like that. And we can start to uh, do some other pipe elements. Maybe we'll do some smaller ones as well. Making some of these like networks of pipes. And what we can do is we can grab these elements, right? And we can paint these right over the top anywhere that we wish. What we'll do is do it like, like this. We can do some of these caps that kind of come out things can be tied into. Maybe we'll grab this one. Like that. Hey Jiminy, thanks for joining us. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back in and I'm going to grab some of these other elements as well. I want this to feel like really like a, a lived in kind of environment here. Um, let's go, let's go into our brushes here actually. And uh, got lots of different types of pipes here. We have cables and hoses. You can see here we have lots of different stuff here.
let's go back to, uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll scrap this one. Well, let's actually do some of the blue ones. Now again, you can change all of these colors and whatnot, but just for time's sake, I'm going to keep them pretty much as they are for right now. Well, we don't want to do it as a stamp. We want to do it as a line here. I think I, I'm going to just layer this like, like here. That's a little bit of a weird angle there, isn't it? Try that again. Much better. I'll make this a little bit smaller. And we'll do some other elements coming off. Maybe we'll bring it all the way across like this. And we'll uh, end up building up a little platform here. And we'll start to add in some different machines and whatnot. But now what we can do, and I'm going to grab this brush as well and drop it down here so we can kind of go between uh, these two. Go into my decorations here. And now we have all of these kind of elements as well. And again, what we can do is we can just kind of place this right over the top here. Oh, make sure we switch back to our stamp. We can add in all kinds of these cool little things along the way here. Nozzles and whatnot. Now I think what I'll do is I'll grab some of these other like pre-created elements as well. I'm going to start to layer these on top. So we'll do stuff like this. And we can always go back down into our floors as well, right? Actually, let's do that. And then let's put a couple of these like underneath coming up out of the floor. Maybe like coming off of the wall here, make this bigger and start to quickly kind of uh, make this look like a much more complex kind of system. We can grab some of these ones. And jumping back and forth between the two layers now, we can start to create some really cool kind of interactions here. What we'll do is maybe we'll, like let's turn it this way. And what I'll do is I'll just gonna type in pipe. We'll have just all of the pipe elements here. And we'll grab this guy.
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this kind of go a little bit off. We're going to cover all of that stuff up with our walls. And we can even do some squares like this. I think we'll uh, build off of this stuff a little bit more as well. I think that that should be a little bit further. Like I'll flip it. Line it up that way. Very cool. I think that's pretty good for our pipe work down there. Uh, we're gonna let's build a little platform here and here, and we'll do that on floor two. And what we'll do is add, start to add in some machinery elements on top of that, uh, and then we're gonna start to bring in some cables and whatnot down from the top there. So for that, we're gonna actually go into the uh, second or the third actually uh, map pack, and I'm just gonna type in uh, machine. And here we're going to have like all kinds of new kind of elements here. Actually, we're going to build our platform first, I lied. So let's go into, actually, you know what we could do? Might be kind of cool. Don't want that. Uh, we could probably use some of those like shipping container elements. Yeah, let's try that. And with floor two, I think what we'll do is maybe we'll do something like this. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna layer this like right in here. Maybe we'll do like a couple of different types of elements here. Uh, we'll we'll leave that one. There. Maybe that one's a little bit. Actually, let's um. I don't want it to interfere with that corner. Right up to the wall there. And now let's go into the first one. I think we'll, we'll build this one out with like concrete. I'm just going to grab one of these like um, concrete floors here. We'll do something like this. Again, we'll make it a little bit bigger here. These would kind of be like these raised platforms that stuff kind of builds up off of. And we can grab even something like this as well and put it on it. Excellent. Now we can go into that 
third art package, and we'll grab all of those machine bits. And we'll start to build this up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to grab some of like elements like this. I'm going to start to pull it right off of like these pipes for it. So it's going to be like tied into this whole system. And I'm going to be going back and forth. And one of the reasons why I kept these brushes down here so I can uh, build elements, kind of go back and forth here a little bit. A bit. This. I find doing this stuff super fun. Building all of these elements, we have some tanks and stuff that we can kind of do. We should actually grab some tanks too, right? I think the tanks are in the second one. Package. Like this. this here. And now let's uh let's actually go in and I think we can just type in tank. And we'll get a whole bunch of different tanks. You can see these are ones from like the sci-fi ones, but here are some of the newer ones. Grab something like this. Sort of like large fuel kind of tank. Kind of place this maybe over here. I think we'll do it like here, right? Start to place some things around. Off kilter, let's let's uh, 
that. Excellent. We can build up a little like uh, metal walkway up here. Like we'll do like a ladder or steps. And I think what we'll do is now we can go back in and type in these pipe elements, and we can kind of connect this, right? I think we can just do our brushes. Grab this, drop it right in there, back over. One here. And we can grab some of these valves, right? I want to make sure that we can. Oh, make sure we do our stamp tool in there. Now let's uh, grab some gauges. Get right on this. I'll grab this brush. Very cool. So I think what I'll do now is I'll grab uh, one of the wall uh, brushes. Not floors, brushes. And I think we'll do, let's do one of these like concrete kind of uh, elements here. I think we'll do. like this, I believe. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, hold down control and I'm going to kind of overlap this a little bit here. Get right down. Like that. Well, I wonder if I did that on the wall layer. Probably not. Do that again. Very easy to do. Perfect.
Now that we have uh, some of our uh, elements in here, uh, what I'm actually going to do is um, grab this uh, rail brush here. See if that's where that. Yep. I'm gonna line this right back up, and I'm going to continue it. Make sure it's going the correct way here. I think, well, I'm going to bring it all the way over to here, but I'm going to, actually, let's just bring it to like here. Actually, you know what? Let's leave it where it is. Well, let's build, build a little uh, end to it, and we'll eventually we'll put like a little machine on it that kind of can go back and forth. Uh, but before we go too much further with this, uh, let's jump in and do all of our shadows and kind of really bring this uh, to life. Yeah, this would be perfect for a dramatic task, wouldn't it? You could do all kinds of things. Get the valves to read correct numbers and turn, uh, or, or the gauges, and turn valves and all kinds of cool stuff that you can kind of do here. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll just kind of create um, not a new painting layer. Well, we'll do a new painting layer, but we're also going to do an effects layer. And uh, we're going to, let's do adjust colors, and we're going to bring down the brightness a little bit. I'll bring down the red to like 45, green. I'm going to create a mask. And what I'll do is I'll start to uh, kind of just paint out uh, these little areas here, and we're going to blur that out so that we get uh, a nice little fade on those. I'm going to kind of, just with the uh, rectangle, and I'm going to be mindful of where these things kind of overlap here, so I'm going to hold down. I'm going to hold down Shift, I'm going to remove that there, right up to the edge. Here. Again, hold down Shift and kind of remove. We might even want to just bring that back a little. So I can hold down Shift, kind of pull that back a little, and then we can do one off of this here, here. Well, that one's a little much, so let's just a little bit on. We're just going to kind of do, I'm going to do some from the walls on the side here. You can see this is already starting to give it a little bit more definition. Just helps separate it from the background, right? So we have uh, these elements here. And our bits of machinery we want to have some on, right? Give it a little bit of depth here. Make these platforms feel like they're raised up a bit. We want to do some of our upper wall here. We can do some from this side, like this. Down here. Then I can hold down the uh, Alt key, and I can start to make any shape that I wish. And you know it'd be cool if we started to, if we built this out, um, we can create this little area in here. We'll, yeah, and then we can create like some metal walkways over the top of this stuff, like some maintenance access bits. 
that in a moment here. Cool, so we have a really base kind of uh, uh, creation here. Uh, so we can go into, I'm going to go uh, floor two, I think. And we can go into our floors, and I'm just going to, well, actually, let's not, let's go into our uh, decorations here. We have uh, a bunch of uh, these kind of elements, kind of like um, ready to go kind of elements here that we can kind of build out some of this stuff. So I'm going to grab maybe like this framework. Let's go back into our painting layer here. I'm going to rename this one Shadows. And uh, that we can kind of uh, add our shadows onto later. Oh, stamp tool is what I want now. And we'll drop this guy right in here. That's actually a little bit too big. We want to be able to have like a little bit of walkway in there, right? Let's turn off our aspect lock ratio. Now let's make that like 1.5, like narrow like this. And we'll make that actually like 3. We have this little access area here, but we're going to build some walkways on top anyway. This will just make it feel a little bit more. Um, And we can kind of go through here and look at some uh, structured kind of elements. Uh, yeah, let's grab a couple of these. I'm going to go back down to the first floor here. I'm going to do a couple of like little braces uh, along some of these things. Maybe one uh, this way. I think what I'll do is I'll make that even a little bit narrower. Kind of feel like that they're at an angle more. I think I'll grab uh, something like this. Again, I'm going to make this a little bit wider. That's that. Fit onto this little frame here. Make it. It's um, 1.4.8. Yeah, I like that. We do it on the one that we want. Great. Jump over to the effects layer here, and uh, we're going to do fill area. And now in this, um, I think that maybe we'll do it on the wall layer here. Or maybe we'll do it beneath. We'll do it on this one. We'll go and do some of these like cables and stuff now. We have some really cool ones that are like these bunches of cables and whatnot, so we can kind of do this whole thing. So I'm kind of thinking that we can come out from underneath this wall here. Maybe something like, like this.
And then we can do some of these like single ones. We have hoses and things as well. And I'm thinking what we can do is kind of just like do some that are kind of crossed. These are going to be above. Think of these as like being above where the layers are. We can change the size of this and kind of do crossed over elements like this. Maybe on the floor we can do some like this. Now grab again, I'll grab some of these like larger kind of wire ones, a little bit smaller. But we can kind of just do like these large groups. And then we can go to higher uh, areas here. Maybe we can do stuff like this. Maybe even some that kind of come across all. A little bit wonky on the end there. That again. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do something like this. Then I'll do something like this. Yeah. Then we can grab some of the poses. Well, make it a little bit bigger. I like that. Do them on the floor. Do more stuff down here. Perfect. Definitely starting to feel like a really cool uh, area to explore. And now on this painting layer, I think what we'll do is we'll start to do like some of that, uh, those catwalks stuff. I think we'll actually grab this one first though. To do some more elements down underneath this railing. Here. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe what I'll do is actually put those on the floor, though. I think that'll be good. Excellent. All right, let's go into uh, the uh, first art package for Modern Industrial. We'll grab some of these framework brushes here. 
we'll start to build out um well I guess we can use the double one still. Well let's do the single one because that way it'll look just more control. And I'm gonna build out these walkways. Um we have some airs. If not, we can grab them from uh, other art packs. So let's grab some uh, we have for stairs here. Then we can look at ladders. Yeah, we'll grab one of these. I think this will work a little bit better for what we're trying to achieve here. We have some uh these metal ones from um might actually work in general here, but we'll grab this one. This will be perfect for us. Like here, for example, we'll put a ladder. Maybe we'll put it on this side. Give a little bit more love to this side of the room. Make sure we go to our stamp tool. Whoop. Make sure we're on our correct uh, painting layer here. Perfect. And I think what we'll do is we'll put a ladder here build off of it. I'm going to hold down control to snap to the grid so I can kind of line all this stuff up properly. We'll do like one here. And we'll also do one I'm thinking like here. And then what we can do is like I said we're going to build walkways and whatnot. And that's going to be really cool. I think we will use this one. Or maybe we'll, we'll make this one a bit smaller, right? Yeah, we'll just do like this. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Control and snap to the grid. Whoop. But then I'm going to switch back to my line tool. And I'm going to bring this out. Maybe we'll bring it to something like here. This down to like this. Maybe like here, I think. Then we can bring it over. we can bring this all the way across over here. And we'll end that like that. Perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll just do, we'll follow that whole thing uh, with a little bit of a solid thing in the middle here. And this will be our little uh, like walkway around the room, access all of these pipes and all the kind of work elements that we might do here. And so what should we use? I think we're going to use like maybe one of these like structure elements. I don't really want to use anything that is too... Uh, too heavy looking. Like the, I don't think concrete's going to be good for us. Uh, we could probably go into some of the other art packs. I'm sure that I have some like metal. I think I'm just going to use this one. And what I'll do is I'm actually going to make this uh, about 1.5 wide, maybe even two wide. Yeah, something like this. Well, that's a little bit too raised, don't you think? It should be a little bit flatter. Maybe we could use this and widen it. Yeah, a bit flatter. Let's do, let's just look up. Um, 
metal brush here. What we got. Let's go into the, the sci fi ones and see. Push, I'm sure that there's a certain element. Not in the uh, sci fi one, than in the spaceship uh, art package. Yeah, we can use it like this. Here we have more pipes as well. Might even be able to use. Oh, uh, that's a little. I'm gonna go with either something like that or this. I think we'll go with. We'll make it uh, too wide. Maybe even a little bit. We can do. Um, yeah, let's make it like. Uh, let's see. And you can see here we have like console brushes and stuff, so do all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, combining this with the one that we're working on now, I think that instead of that, let's go to the uh, spaceship exteriors. It's here we have some of these nice like metal kind of uh, brushes. I think we'll just use this like this uh, this brush that is like textured metal. And what we'll do is. Uh, maybe we'll add a little bit of color to this, make it a little bit redder. You like that, I think it's going to work well. Maybe a little bit brighter than that. Maybe just a tint more than that. I think it probably should be darker. I'm just going to drag in through here, kind of. Yeah, something like that. And again, I'm going to hold down Control, and I'm going to snap right to the grid here. And I'm going to try to follow uh, this as best I can. A little bit wonky over there. Let's try that again. Yeah, this is a little bit weird down here, but uh, it's okay. I can fix it. Um, well, yeah, you know, let's let's do it. Let's fix it. Let's do it the right way, shall we? In order to to kind of facilitate this, I think I'm going to increase the uh, opacity. Now let's make this color that I can see very well. And that way I can look at the actual um, stuff that I'm trying to follow here. Where to 
map to the grid. We'll get it. I think what I'm going to do is end it here. And then I'll pick it up again. This out. And I'll pick it up here. And then we want to make sure we snap to the grid. Going to go to the middle here. I wanted to probably bring it this one first. Bring it right to the end there. Something more like that. And so now what I'll do is back in here. That's all pretty good. And snap right to that part of the grid. Here. Start here, actually. This. This. Here. Here. Right down here. And now we can go back into our grid system. That down a little bit. Perfect. I'm not exactly sure what has been released for information on the uh, Fallout rule set. Super secret rule set coming out. And let's this. I'm going to grab um, back into our assets here. I'm going to grab this little, little guy right here. Grab this guy, drop him right in there. And in our little shadows area here, I'm going to hold down R, G, and B, make this a little darker. Then I'm also going to hold down B and just bring back a little bit of blue into it. Now we can change the size here a little bit. And I'm going to lower down the alpha by holding down A and using my mouse wheel. I'll also be going back in uh, to the layers tab on the shadow element. And we're going to go into and uh, here, but I think we're going to do is drop this down in underneath my walls. I'll do this stuff. Yeah, that's going to be quite dark. I'm already going to come in here. I'm going to move down a little bit. Alpha. Back into my painting tab here. Make sure that I have the camp tool selected. Additional shadow element. Make this bigger. Coming out from the corners. 
what I like to do is use like a combination of um, the effects layers to do them and paint it in element. Gives us a lot of control and it just makes everything feel a little bit more accurate. Here we're gonna have to go back in and adjust some of these shadows for our walkway. Before I go any further, let's do that. Over to the effects layer here, and I'm gonna do hide area and about some of this stuff here and here. Now we can come back in shadows here. Damp in some of the shadows in these areas that have a bit of and we should probably even we might even want to drop this down in underneath that painting layer. So I can kind of do something along here. And what I'll do is I'll make this uh, rather oblong. A little bit of shadow like coming out from my, this walkway to give it a little bit more depth. And in these corners where we'll have a lot of ambient occlusion, we can have this, and I'll do a little bit here. Very cool. All right, we got uh, quite a lot of stuff done in this little section down here. Very, uh, lots of cool stuff going on there. So why don't we, uh, I'm actually going to take a really quick break here for a moment. Uh, and then we're going to go into building at least these other two rooms and hopefully a little bit more. Uh, so if you guys want to just hang out for a moment uh, and relax, um, I will be right back. I'm just going to grab some more water and heat up my coffee and uh, stretch my legs for a moment. Uh, so just hang out and I will be right back. Thanks everybody.
And we're back. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Got all my beverage all uh, refreshed and ready to go. So here we go. And so what we can actually do now is uh, we can jump in here. Uh, we can do so much more with this as well. Uh, if we wanted to jump in and go into uh, this one, for example, uh, we can grab in some of these lighting elements. We have uh, electrical elements as well. Let's grab one of these, an electrical box here. Maybe something like this. Start to put some things of these around. Maybe this will be like poking out from underneath here. Grab some of the other like electrical kind of uh, elements. Way. Look this in here. And we have vents and pads. Maybe we'll do vents on the wall. Go into the wall layer. Well, actually, let's go right underneath. Flip these around. And we can kind of put in uh, lights. We have some lights that we can put on the walls and maybe these ones. Uh, I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is we'll put some like this uh, along our little walkway here. Or should we do ones, should we put some along the wall? Uh, yeah, let's do some along the wall. We'll do these ones or else. I think what we'll do is up a couple like this. Then we'll uh, can actually come back into our just colors here. So kind of take out some of the areas like this. That'll add a little bit more cool kind of um, environmental interaction. We can actually put lights on there too with the lighting system. And the one more thing that I'd like to do is um, these floors are a little bit too um, static right in there. I want to do some like grime and stuff in here as well. I can grab a couple of textures that we can do. And we can do this a bunch of different ways. I've, I've shown this before in the past. Uh, there's many different kind of uh, uh, texture elements uh, that I've created in other art packs, uh, and we can certainly use those. Uh, but we can also use uh, one of the ones that I like to use the most is uh, the snow elements, and those are really great because they have a lot of texture to them. But not only that, we can add any color we wish to them, so we have a lot of control. Uh, many of the other uh, texture elements have pre built in colors, which uh, limit them a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into uh, the winter art package, actually. Winter map pack. And uh, in here we have all of these uh, snow effects. And these ones uh, are great for doing this kind of stuff. I'll grab something maybe like... Um, maybe we'll grab this one. Uh, switch back over to the painting layer. And what I'm actually going to do is I can use the R, G, and B keys uh, to either make this a little bit like darker. I'm going to kind of match up with this here a little bit. And I think I'm going to either make it a little bit green or a little bit red. So if I hold down the R key, I can kind of pull this out. See, this is going to make it kind of feel like a little bit of like a rust element. And I'm going to hold down A. I'm going to lower down that opacity a bit so I can kind of build this up. I'm also going to hold down the control button change its size, and shift, change its rotation. And again, I can hold down control if I wanted to snap to the grid, but that's not really that important right now. And so what I can do is make sure I have my stamp tool selected, um, and I'm going to go on to the floor. 
going to build up this little interaction that we have here. Not sure where my oh I made it really big. As you can somehow I made it huge. I'm sure I know how. I probably um down wrong button my mouse wheel. And make this rather large and kind of do uh Around. And this is what gives it that kind of uh, lived in feel, right? And we can kind of do some over the top of the pipes and whatnot. Not really too concerned about that. I'm going to hold down the R and I'm going to bring it up a little bit, a little down a little bit, and then I can hold down the G and the B and bring that up. Make it a little bit more green. I think I'm going to make it a little bit darker though. A little bit brighter there. Opacity. And that's looking pretty good there. I'll even come in uh, onto these top little painting areas. We can add in a little bit more texture to this stuff. And you can see what this does. This just adds uh, that extra kind of layer of uh, interaction to the uh, environment. And I think what we'll do is just add in. Um, I think we'll. I think we'll leave that for now. Leave that for now. Let's go into some of these other areas and start to build this stuff up as well. And we we'll we'll be working on this for uh, at least a couple of weeks. I think. I think we'll we'll kind of build this stuff out and have some have a lot of fun with it. Make a really cool thing, and then we'll put it on the forge for you guys. So when this uh, rule set's released, uh, you'll be able to have access to instant map there. I'll get this up on the forge this next week here. Uh, let's go not to that one. Go into here, and I want to grab some of these. Um, More of these like pipe elements, and I think what I'm going to do is uh, down on this uh, painting layer here. I'm going to do some stuff along the edges. We'll pull this out. Like this, and I'm going to put it here, here. And I want to use some of these other kind of pipe elements as well. like this, and these ones are really great. And this just really starts to make it feel like these industrial kind of environments, right? Uh, one of the things that this has as well, if we go into uh, the wires and the hoses and whatnot, we have some like this like wall elements. These groupings of like wires and whatnot for the walls. And we can kind of come over here and place some of the stuff stamped on. We'll do something like this.
and maybe we'll do some of this side too. Do it here. Yeah. I think I'll grab some of these. And we'll just do like periodically along there. We can even just grab some of these, right? And uh, place them. At certain points, wished mix it up with some of the other kind of pipe elements. I'll make it a bit smaller. Them are kind of like overlapped. And we can grab some of the guys for the corners. So it's kind of like that all of these elements, all of this stuff, um, working together here to create like this, um, set up a little, a little bit smaller, the inside of there. And I can go into my adjust colors and uh, we can uh, the reveal area here. I'll just put a couple elements for all of the walls and then as we right in there. All the here. The erasing walls. Build out some other areas. Yeah, uh, I'm actually going to grab, let's go back into the uh, first modern industrial thing here. Uh, and I'm just going to create some little, some of these columns here. Go back into our area over here. Make some like little like posted edges to uh, some of these. Uh, just to make it a little bit more complete. I'm going to go into my walls tab here. I'm just going to stamp this, this, like here as well. Then we can kind of do it down here at these edges. Could make that a little longer. Let's do that. I'll make the two. Little end caps. Make it feel like it's a little bit more uh, refined in its construction. I think what we'll do is we'll make this area over in here. Um, let's put some like vents on the floor and stuff. Like this, have these kind of like sticking out. I want to do some kind of elements here that are a 
can give us a little bit more action. I'd like to do maybe like some smoke coming out of them. Steam, you know. Yeah, I think it's that one. Actually. Oh, maybe uh, another one. Going to create fence as well. And we should build like a little machine. Um, go along these um, rail systems. And I'll actually grab something like a uh, pipe like this. And I'm just going to darken this up. And we need to make that a little bit that big, though. I like the width that it was at. Um, but we're going to make this like 2.5. Less than that, two, six, five. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my own little vent here. Uh, what I should do first, actually, is probably just let in with a dark space. Um. Maybe. Actually, I think if I. Here. Maybe I make this darker. So many different ways we can kind of do. Vent here. Oh, it could be. It could very well be. Could very well be a new rule set. That might be getting released uh, very, very soon. We are indeed building a vault today. Then I think we can probably use uh, some new um, additional like floor elements through here. Uh, we can definitely use, uh, and you know what I should do is let me grab. Well, I'm actually going to go back into the the winter one. I'm going to grab uh, one of these effects, like drag it down here. I think I'm going to use this times this. And so I'm going to go back into this one. Uh, let's darken this up a bit. And then I'm going to use my um, alpha channel to lighten it. And do. Uh, A little bit lighter, pretty kind of stuff. Very cool.
Now let's build this little machine that we have here. Uh, we'll do something that's going to be attached to these uh, little wheels on this rail. And I think I know exactly the thing that I want to use. So let's go to the uh, second industrial map pack. Modern industrial. We have this, um, oh, I guess it's the third one. Go over to the third one here. We have these nice little machine parts in here. I'm going to grab uh, one of these things. So maybe it'll be like a, a lift element. Like this. And let's go on to, uh, I think we're going to put it on the wall. They are here. Maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. It's kind of like could be used to move maybe like heavy pipes or in and out of the area. And uh, I'm going to go down to the painting layer underneath it and I'm going to add in some additional kind of like machine parts. Make this seem a little bit more complex in its uh, construction. I'm going to grab a couple of elements. Bring this out a little bit underneath. Who knows really what this is for. Yeah, maybe. Thinking we can add this like right here. And then we can grab and I think the keypad is in the second one though. How about it there? And we'll go right into here. And on the front of it like that. Have some controls there. Uh, and then I think what we'll do is we can go into some of brushes and I'll grab um, like this and we can kind of start to try in uh, some of the here. I think I'll go one underneath so we were just doing it on this layer down here so we can kind of do it coming out from underneath here we can do some on top as well coming from here All right, let's move on here. It's all looking pretty good. Um, let's do some things down this hallway, though. Uh, again, I'm going to grab some of these elements like this. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll start it right up here. So I'm just going to kind of drag this out a little bit here. Or maybe we'll do it from here. Right? Maybe we'll Going to make that a little bit more. I'm actually going to hold down control and we'll snap to the grid here a little bit so that everything not like that. Let me zoom in here a little bit. I'm actually going to start right there, go to the middle, look at my grid system here, bring it right down to here. And then we'll bring it right into the or like that. You can see that following these like little pipes and things that follow the, the wall structure. Um, is kind of really adds to that whole industrial kind of feeling, right? 
And again, I'm going to grab some of these um, wires, groupings wires. And maybe we'll go into uh, this layer here and uh, bring some along this line. And maybe we'll do it uh, exactly the same kind of thing here. And we can grab some of those electrical kind of things here. Switch over to the stamp tool. We'll do them along this wall here. Do some lights there. That'll give us a lot of uh, cool stuff that we can kind of do. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll do some up here. One here. And we'll do a couple on this side. Yeah, this place is starting to look um, very much like um, this kind of environment. We'll make this more of a um, maybe like a, a cafeteria. We can start to use some stuff uh, from some other uh, elements here. What kind of stuff do, would you like to see in the cafeteria? Well, obviously, we'll do like some chairs and whatnot, benches and tables. I think what we'll do is we can either go into the uh, modern uh, interior stuff. Uh, or we can uh, use some of the, uh, I believe that we have some in uh, sci-fi interiors as well. Check them out. So something like this would probably work pretty well, I think. And then, yeah, these kind of like plain uh, tables and whatnot, I think that'll work really well. We can use these type of panel elements that will kind of fit right into that uh, aesthetic, I do believe. I think what I'll do is uh, just kind of place a couple of these around, then we'll uh, do the tables. I wonder what layer we're working on here. Put these, let's create a new uh, painting layer. We'll put this down here like this. I'm going to put these on that layer. like a round table over here. And maybe a smaller one here. 
Now we can go into our tables here. And I'll put this one a painting layer above. For those. I'll just make it a little bit. And now what we can do is start to add in some more of the uh, classic kind of elements that we might want to put in there, right? Like we can do, um, we should definitely do like some counter. Maybe we'll do like a counter element over here. And then we could do like a little a walkway into a kitchen. Uh, perhaps it's, you know, like a cafeteria where uh, we have like a little window by which food is served. And then we can uh, bring out uh, the cafe actual kitchen out this way and then we'll create another walkway going up this way and going into other elements maybe a room here uh, perhaps the kitchen can fill in this then we could do more rooms coming this way and bring it around so what I'm thinking is it's going to kind of come around in that kind of direction And feel free, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, throw them into chat. I'm more than happy to explore all of the different avenues of creation process here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll just jump over into the effects layer here. And we'll just do like some little elements coming off of our tables here. Here's It's going to kind of just give us a little bit of... Uh, area by which build off of and maybe that's a little too much there Well, you it it, uh, it might be just around the corner there. So your prayers could be answered. All right. Well, let's uh, let's add in some uh, incidental kind of items in here. We can do some more uh, kind of like floor textures and whatnot. Our cool little environment that we're creating here. So we can type in things like fork, and we can get a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, and this is a really uh, great way um, quickly and easily access a lot of this stuff, right? Like um, you don't always have to sift through. Uh, I'm primarily uh, what I do is I go into the art packages so that you guys have a better understanding of what's going to be contained in them. Um, but if I'm actually working uh, and I'm doing um, map creation quickly, I'll just type in in the search. So um, and we'll just kind of haphazardly around. Uh, so I can type in spoon, for example, and we're going to get a whole bunch of different types of spoons. We have uh, wooden spoons and 
And again, we'll we'll do the same kind of thing here. Maybe it's uh Might even put some on the floor and whatnot. And then we can also do knife. Again, we have instant access to all. And I can type in plate, example. Now this is going to bring up a lot of different uh, stuff because many things will be considered to be a plate, but we can get to this uh, pretty quickly. Or we could type in a dish. Here we have and a whole bunch of different types of dishes. And these are ones from uh, like the abandoned places art bag. You can see they're all kind of covered in grime. Uh, so doing lots of cool locations in a sort of post-apocalyptic world. That's going to be great too. Uh, so we can jump in and do some of those too. I have to vault here. In future. I think we're just going to use like this plain kind of white one, but I'm actually going to go and make these a, a little bit darker here. Oops. And so let's make this a little bit darker, just so it stands out from that uh, least white kind of element. I place a couple of dishes around. Maybe we'll stack a couple of this. We can actually go in and make those, um, have put some food stains on them and stuff like that too. Uh, let's type in cup. And I'll just grab, maybe we'll grab some of these ones, kind of ones here. That'll, that'll work kind of well with. And we can grab a couple that are a little bit. Filter here a little bit, maybe leaning up against there. Whoops, get a new painting layer. And we can actually grab something like this, right? We put this underneath our wall here, make it a bit wider. Make this to be like our little entrance. Um, like serving window. Because we have um, kind of like counter elements. We could place in underneath but there's lots of other ones we'll uh, we'll kind of work that out here in a bit I think that'll be cool that'll be like our little serving window come up and get and whatnot add in a little counter over here uh, where we could place uh, some other elements on there maybe like dishes and whatnot and we'll have to do like a, oh we should do a trash can So we can type in trash, all kinds of different trash elements. Right? I wonder if I have any other ones. We could probably just use like a pail or something, right? We'll have to uh, we'll look through those things. Right. But for right now, I'm actually going to grab this guy again. Drag it up here. I'm actually going to make these uh, dishes seem a little bit dirty.
do it uh, let's do it a little bit um, different colors on here maybe we'll put some on the table itself you guys are messy What I'll do is I'll um, as you can see there we can make these little uh, chains and whatnot by controlling the alpha channel what you can actually do is change some of the make it feel like it's a little bit more smudgy Actually, look at those trash again. I think that we might have. We have all kinds of different like papers and things as well. You know what I should do is do like some napkins and. Things. I think what we'll do is grab uh, some. Maybe there's like some forms on the table. And what I'll do is I'm actually going to type in the, just the word brush. And this is going to bring up all the different brushes uh, that I have available. And it's going to take a moment because it's going to be a lot. Uh, and so I'm just going to go through and find something that I'm going to use just to create a little counter over here. I probably could just use the table that we or couldn't I? I think I want to make it uh, seem a little bit more industrial. Maybe maybe we could use one of these concrete ones, but I'm just going to have a, a little look here. What I like to do is um, I have like a one that I look at uh, to get a little bit bigger of an image of it. I'll just click on it and get a little preview. Uh, if you guys aren't aware of this either, uh, you can actually um, control the way that this, this whole setup works. Over uh, you, you can toggle between a grid list, and um, you can also zoom in, make it bigger, or you can make it smaller. But I like to try to balance uh, the number of um, images on screen uh, with the uh, amount of I think I'll do I think I'll build one in some of this stuff. I think I'm actually going to use uh, some of these structure elements. And then put some stuff on top of it. Uh, let's grab this guy. I don't think we've used him yet. And uh, let's use the rectangle tool. I'll make this a little bit smaller. And this is going to be our base uh, by which we're going to create an element over here. Uh, so I'm just going to pull it out like this. Then I'll do something over the top of it. Maybe we'll just go into um, one of these ones. Something similar to like this, but I think we'll do a little bit lighter of a one. Yeah, something like that. What I'll do is I can... Um, oh, we can do it a couple of different ways. I could probably just stamp it and find it the correct size, but I think what I'll do is um, I want to make this a little bit wider, uh, but not quite as long. So it's more of a long line, so the texture. 
And I'm just going to drag it out in the wall here. If I want to, I can switch over if, I, if this kind of like bugs me. Um, and I can actually grab my tint, grab this color, it's a little bit lighter than black. And I can also draw that line at the end. Well. Now it kind of feels like maybe that's like one of those like rubber bumpers around the bottom of it, or who knows. Now we have this like uh, kind of like textured. Uh, outcropping over here and we can start to uh, build it and make it kind of feel like it's uh, part of that uh, construction. Now we can grab some of these other elements as well. Maybe we'll grab this like uh, metal uh, tube. We can go right over the top of it here. We'll do Drag it out from here, there. I really like how uh, these layered kind of elements can add a certain type of dimension to it. it. Feels like a backdrop or something. And now if we add some additional kind of stuff there, it just makes it feel more like a real space. It does to me anyway. Uh, we can kind of go up in out of there and we can do like stacks of whatever it is. We, maybe we want to go back to those dishes or whatnot. We could do a pile of them. I think what I'll do is do like, uh, we'll do bottle. Grab some of these bottles. Maybe we'll do some of these colored ones. Add a little bit of color to the area. Over get something like this. I think we should put it on the maybe these are these will just kind of like brighten it up a little, right? And maybe I'll do this over. And we'll do uh here, maybe over. And if you um, much anything that you are looking for, we probably have one now uh, in one of the art packages. Let's do tray. Yeah, we got some nice trays here. do it underneath. Well, let's go back to uh, what layer is that on? Hmm. Not sure. Either way. Put the tray down here. And I think we'll do like maybe like a stack of trays over here. What other things might we have uh, over on this side? I think we'll put in uh, another keypad, maybe here.
And now what we can do, what I'll do is I'll just grab um, this guy. We'll go back into our shadows here. And I'll actually just put in uh, some nice little shadows. Stuff. And again, we'll make, and we'll do, well, this will give us a little bit more control over it. Kind of just like stamp it in here. And I'll do a little bit coming out from the sides here. Yeah, everything's starting to come along really well. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have a question. Are these assets part of the FGO art subscription? They certainly are. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, the, the, the tools are, are great. Um, map creation inside of Fantasy Grounds Unity, I think, is uh, uh, best. Um, and we're actually in the process of uh, working out some new um, updates the yeah, painting system so even more amazing stuff is on the way shadow to this stuff make it feel like it's a little bit more as you can see there a little bit better there so now we've we've created all of this stuff um, cool kind of industrial um, elements here Everything is uh, really starting to come along here. And I think w while we're uh, just kind of finishing up, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, texture to here. Um, and we'll, maybe we'll put the lights on. And then we'll be able to um, kind of add in a couple of... Uh, we'll change up the lights here a little bit. We'll do these like little ones. Maybe we'll do some. Well, no, let's let's stick. Let's let's have some assistance here a little bit. And I'm gonna put these on the wall layer here. Do a couple here. Kind of rather industrial looking lights. We'll do like two on this side, maybe down here, and then a bit, a couple up here. I don't want it that far into the. We'll do like a another entry there uh, next time. Well, you know what else we should do? We should add in a couple of uh, switches to the walls here. Maybe one on this side, too. Uh, we'll probably clear out three, maybe like three, four, five uh, elements there. So we'll wait. We'll wait to do that kind of there. And we'll also uh, create a little way back into this like kitchen area we'll be creating. Uh, so I think what I'll do now is I'm going to grab this uh, little guy that we were using before. Oh, excellent. Yeah, we actually have uh, abandoned places art packs for creating all kinds of really cool places like post-apocalyptic. Uh, tons of stuff. And uh, all of the things that uh, we create on the stream as well uh, eventually get up onto the um, uh, the Forge. And so if you have the art subscription, you get to uh, download all these maps we make for free.
and we'll drop down that opacity. I think what I'm going to do is uh, make this a little bit greener. I want it to be kind of like dark green, but maybe a little bit yellower, like this. Yeah. And drop down that opacity. That's a little bit too much. So, uh, Let's um, drop down that opacity a little bit more. I think I'm going to put it on layer here. Yeah, something like that's a little bit better. We'll do some like coming out from underneath some tables. Make it uh, quite transparent here. I want to break up some of the monotony of wants this to feel like a lived in space, right? Chains develop over time, especially with lots of use. And that fallout kind of feeling is um is uh that kind of grimy I think we'll actually put some on the tables as well. So this tables there's maybe put a little bit on there great well, this is a really great start I think to an awesome vault that we're creating here um we're kind of winding down here, getting to the end of uh, our time together here today. Yeah, right, death claws. Great. So, is the you could do you guys have any questions? Uh, did I do anything that was? Um, Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, we built this all from scratch. Uh, so all of these elements are kind of put together um, all from uh, the new art packages that are going to be coming out uh, this month and next. Um, so you can build all of this stuff um, right from the get-go. Create all these cool pipe systems and uh, cables, wires. We uh, we built all of this. Um, add in a little bit lean to huh? and I think I'll also go into this next layer here and just a little bit of shadow stuff Uh, yeah, so uh, I will be this this actually this next week. I have a whole bunch. All of the stuff that we've created uh, since the last time I've placed will be going up on the forge. Um, this will go up once we have it all finished. So probably at the not this week, but the next week, because we'll finish this up uh, on this next stream and hopefully do all of that stuff. Oh yes, the, the the line of sight is so easy to do. And wait till you see with the, the new tools that are coming how much how much better it will be as well. So the way that it works is it's completely built inside of FGU. Uh, so there's no it's a conglomerate of images. There's no you can't compress it down into a single image. There's no way to export it that way. But you have um, pretty much the complete ability to do anything that you might want to do inside of, um, well, a lot of the stuff that you might want to do inside of Photoshop, you can do right inside of Fantasy. Oh yeah, the, the right around the corner, uh, Drake Star Dragon. Uh, it's not a new theme. Nope, it's the it's a it's a new rule set that might be coming out shortly here. Mm 
Yeah, some high grade wizardry, that's right. Yep, you could you could technically screenshot it and then do it. Yeah, that might be coming out on Tuesday, this rule set. Yeah, maybe. So we'll be working on this again uh, this next coming um, Saturday. I do this stream every Saturday uh, from 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and we run just about six or sometimes a little after, depends on what we're doing and uh, questions that people have. Um, so if you guys have any sort of questions about how to use these tools, um, if you guys have any sort of uh, issues that you might have run into, uh, feel free to speak up in chat. Uh, I'm more than happy to explain further and uh, kind of dive down into uh, any sort of uh, avenue that you'd like to see. So I'm happy to demonstrate and show you some tips and tricks and my workflow on how I create these maps in the system. Um, yeah, I would. I think that maybe um, in a in the future we'll we'll do another another kind of theme that's along these lines for all the different rule sets. We're going to be creating a big gear default door. You bet. We're, we'll, we're going to bring this process all the way through to a complete vault. Uh, we'll even do like above ground and the entrance. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll be getting there. You guys, uh, you want to make sure that you tune back in next week so we can continue this process. And any sort of um, direction you'd like to see this go in, uh, feel free. I'm uh, I'm open to suggestions. If you guys have ideas or things that you'd like to see added and incorporated into our map, I'm more than happy. Oh, awesome. Uh, we can do all kinds of sorts of things. We have the, uh, a complete effects ar um, system in here. Different effects is what I, how I did a lot of these shadows. But we can create effects layers, and there's lots of cool stuff that we can do with them. Uh, in addition to that, um, we have a lighting system where we can do... Uh, we can't really do sparks yet. We don't have a particle system in there, but we can kind of emulate a lot of different cool stuff like that. And I can go into that and show you a lot of that stuff. So like a combination between the lighting system and the effects layers, uh, there's, a, there's a lot that you can, you can achieve. You add a little bit of motion and movement. Uh, we're going to be adding in, I'm going to be doing like a steam coming out of the vents and, and uh, lots of stuff. We'll kind of add all of those finishing touches in at the, at the end. Yep, you can do, yeah, exactly. And then what I would do on top of that, uh, Jiminy, is add in some of those water effects to make it uh, a little bit um, more random feeling. All right, guys. Well, do you, does, are there any other questions? I'll, uh, I'll kind of just throw out one last call for questions or uh, any, anything, really, before we uh, shut it down for today. So thanks, everybody, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I know that Saturdays can be kind of busy, so uh, it's, it's great to see you guys uh, 
showing up on a, on a Saturday and hanging out with me doing these map creations. And like I said, uh, I try to be here every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And then we go to uh, just about 6. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, Jiminy. Yeah, you bet. No problem at all, Mossy. We'll see you guys all next time. And thanks again, everybody. And uh, have a wonderful week and a great weekend. We'll see you next time.